you in spring training. It's the first day. Uh, we like what we have, and uh, we'll see how it comes together. But it's up to uh, uh, Ting and AJ to figure out uh, what we have in terms of what's going to be the best for us this season. But uh, we like what we have. We like the energy, and uh, we'll go from there. What do you expect uh, the man <clears throat> this year? If you want that, you want me to take it. <laughs> but I think what's important to me and probably to us is that the guys in the clubhouse believe. You know, Ron and I go into the clubhouse basically once a year, which is today. We listen. We don't bring what they set out here. But they, you can see they believe in themselves, the coaching staff, the players. And, um, you know, that gets me fired up, you know, even more than you would on day one of spring training in a typical year. What was the overall message inside the clubhouse this morning? I think that's got to stay inside the clubhouse. I think uh, it was AJ and uh, Ting who basically delivered the message. We were there to support them, and uh, we like what we heard, but it's up to them to discuss. How did Tingler do in his, in his first ever managerial address to a full group of, of, of players? I think we collect, collectively think very well. Yeah, Ting's great, I think. Um, uh, he's, you know, one of the things that we liked about him when we were going through the search process is he's comfortable in his own skin. And he's a grinder. I think all you guys know that. You've seen him enough. And we're all about the work. I think this organization, top top to bottom, we love to work. And it's good to see that top to bottom. Every year you had these annual press conferences out of spring training, and there was a good sense of optimism. But this team has finished in either fourth or fifth place under, under AJ. How important is this year for, for, him, for, this, for this team to really show some progress after the free agent moves, the, the extensions, and the draft? Is that a rhetorical question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see us above 500, and we've got to get there. We think we have the team to get us there, so we're focused on winning this year, and uh, I, I think we have a lot of pieces in place. And uh, Are we perfect? No, but I think we're uh, going to be a good team, and we look forward to uh, winning a lot of ball games. We'll have to ask a follow-up, though. Are our heads going to roll if, if this team doesn't finish above 500? This old guy might have to retire. Who knows? I think what, what's really talked a lot about, in addition to winning, is continuously doing things the right way, and winning will fall out of that. And I think the seriousness of the players, of the owners, um, of the coaching staff, we're, we're here to be one of the five teams in the National League that wins the playoffs, and, and um, we wouldn't be in this business if we weren't very serious about it. So what do you expect of Manny this year? Trying again? <laughs> uh, we signed Manny to a very large contract. Uh, we did it because we see Manny as one of the leaders of the team. We think he's an outstanding player and uh, he worked very hard in the off season and we expect that to translate into great success for him uh, during the season. You're pleased with what you've seen since last September? Yes, and we're very pleased with the way he conducted himself uh, since the season was over. He realizes that he didn't have the year that either he or we wanted and uh, I think he recommitted himself to making sure that 2020 is a better year for him and for the Padres. It's basically a year ago in this spot where that news came out. How would you kind of assess well, that? was news to us by the way AJ. <laughs> we, we did not have a deal at that time but uh, uh, a lot has happened since then and uh, we feel very good about it. How would you assess the way that, that deal changed the expectations within the organization moving forward? Significantly. Yeah. You, know, you sign a player to that kind of money, it's an indication that our organization is here to win. I think people in baseball know that. And, you know, here on the first day of spring training, it's day one. This is our decade. We've talked about it. We're not shying away from it. Would you be surprised to see any significant moves uh, to this roster before the end of spring training? AJ is our general manager. AJ is known to make moves if he think it, thinks it will strengthen the team. but. Making moves for the sake of making moves, we're not going to do. If he feels there's a way to strengthen the team, he will do what he needs to do. 